we've successfully created our first game object, a cannon. Right now, the cannon doesn't do much. It doesn't rotate, it doesn't shoot, and it doesn't even draw on the screen. But it does load its texture from the content pipeline and set its position. We'll keep adding functionality to the cannon until it does everything we want it to do. Let's make it rotate in response to the player's action. In game1.cs, scroll to find the method called update. Update, like draw, is a method provided by XNA Game Studio. It is called repeatedly by the XNA framework, as often, or sometimes more often, than the draw call. In this method, we will add something that has to do with changes of objects in our game over time. This is where objects will move, turn, take input, and interact with each other. The results of these interactions are then drawn on the screen in the draw call. You will see some code already written in the update call. This code checks to see if the player is pressing the back button on their Xbox 360 controller. If so, the game will exit. This is useful code to keep in the game, so we'll leave it for now. Add a new line below it. What we want to do is take input from the player. There are several ways for the player to provide input in XNA Game Studio. The preferred method in most cases is to use the Xbox 360 controller. The wired versions of the Xbox 360 controller uses a standard USB connector, making them compatible with Xbox 360 and Windows, and with the optional Xbox 360 wireless gaming receiver for Windows, the wireless version of the Xbox 360 controller can also be used on Windows. If you don't have an Xbox 360 controller, don't worry, we'll be adding keyboard support to the Windows version of our game. We'll start with the Xbox 360 code first. Add this line. Gamepad state. Gamepad state. Equals gamepad. Dot get state. Open parenthesis. Player index dot one close parenthesis semicolon. We have instantiated and assigned the gamepad state object all in one line. Gamepad state is a class that represents the current state of an Xbox 360 controller. A state identifies which buttons are currently held down, where the positions on the thumbsticks are, and so on. We will check the state of the controller to find out if the player is holding the left thumbstick to the left or right, and rotate the cannon. Below the line you just added, type the following. Cannon dot rotation plus equals gamepad state dot thumbsticks dot left dot x times 0 0.1 f. This is a mathematical operator that adds a value to our cannon's rotation value based on the value of gamepad state dot thumbsticks dot left dot x, which represents the left or right motion of the left thumbstick. If the player is holding the thumbstick to the left, the value will be between 0 and negative 1 depending on how far they're holding it to the left. If they're holding it to the right, it will be between 0 and positive 1, again, depending on how far they're holding it over to the right. If they aren't pushing it at all, the value will be 0. Whatever the value is, this code will multiply it 
by 0 0.1, making it a small value. Large values would rotate the cannon too quickly and add it to the cannon's current rotation value. This way, each call to update in which the player has the thumbstick held down will make the cannon rotate in the direction the player is holding the thumbstick. We don't use the rotation value for anything at the moment, but in the next step, we'll use it when we draw the cannon. We'll take into account the rotation variable, and the cannon will be drawn rotated by the rotation value. We will also use it when we start shooting cannonballs.